When you open the box, you see the, um, the manual. Um, all of these different uh, component parts, I guess a strap, um, a uh, air filter, For your air supply. Oh. Consumables, all kinds of extra goodies here for um, all the different components of the gun, and uh, it looks like uh, little rings here to hold on the air supply. Oh my goodness. And some more uh, cables here. I guess to uh, support the gun. I suppose the gun is inside here somewhere. Yeah, there's the gun and then some of the assembly parts. Uh, then, the machine itself. First thing I notice about the machine is that it's very lightweight. But it, this one is just straight black, very light, uh, small. It's only a few inches wide, a few inches tall. I think uh, my Harley boots, the box that the boots come in are a bigger package than this. Okay, the next thing I notice is, look at this. They don't give you a plug. It does say 120 and 200 and... 20 volts. And it's got a gas inline here, but it does not come with a plug. You got to put on your own plug. Well, let's see. The next thing I notice is on the front panel here. Um, there's only a few little items. There's a, a green light, and uh, I'm not sure what that's for exactly. Of course, there's an on and off switch. There's uh, what looks like a uh, an amp controller because it goes from 10A all the way over to 50. There's a digital readout here. Uh, not quite sure what the, oh, okay. This looks like where you would attach the gun, maybe some other control feature. Uh, this is for the pilot arc, which is what I talked about earlier. Um, believe it or not, there are cheaper models of plasma cutters. And they do not have this pilot arc. So you actually have to take the gun and touch the, the tip of that to the metal work to get the spark going. But this one uh, is apparently automatic. Okay, uh, the next step I'll do is probably uh, put on a plug onto this thing and then I'll attach the air supply and we'll try it out. Well, this is day two. On, um, I had a chance to assemble the air filter and regulator. So um, all it's a matter of doing really is adding the meter. You just screw it on and then you have to put in your air hose fittings and you make a fitting from um, the air filter to the input of the machine. The other thing is I had to go to um, a welding shop and pick up a, uh, a 220 line uh, plug. So this was about 20 bucks. Uh, this machine will operate on 110 volt or 220 volt. Since I've got 220 volt here in the, uh, in the garage, I decided to go ahead and use that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, try to attach the uh, electrical. And then also, um, the way I set up the air filter was to have a quick disconnect connect thing right here. And I have it set at um, 80 pounds pressure right now. All right, I'm going to turn it on here, and 
I'm going to um, adjust my current meter here to uh, 40 amps. Okay. Yeah, I'll move the uh, table around here so we can set everything up and hopefully you'll be able to see it. Um, I'm going to turn the uh, power off for a minute. My first experiment here will be to cut through um, some 3 8 inch steel by 3 and a half inches long. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and try it out. I've got a piece of um, 3 8 inch thick steel by 3 and a half inch long. Well, this is what our final cut looks like. Um, it's fairly smooth. Um, and considering this is my very first plasma cutter, um, it's an amazing little machine. It's tiny. Um, uh, it's very light. Uh, the only disadvantages compared to the big boys is that the, um, it's kind of irritating, is that the um, air filter uh, regulator is on the back side. I would like to be able to see what my uh, air pressure is at all times and adjust that from the front. And it uh, would have been nice if it came with a plug, uh, but those are relatively minor comes with quite a few extra tips and um, all the other uh, consumable items but uh, it does a very nice job especially uh, for somebody who's never even done uh, plasma cutting before so I hope that uh, gives you an idea of what uh, these little Samadri machines do and thanks for watching be sure and um, rate this and uh, subscribe